Dhaga, like it has been in the top 10 in so many LATAM countries. You know, uh, Khaki, Rana, Darlings. Darlings was one of our biggest openings of a non-English uh, film, a Hindi title. And uh, you know, RRR, Gangu, as I said, and many titles, Romantics, how it's worked across the world, Trial by Fire. So I feel that um, there is a sort of, uh, uh, it's a moment in time. We are seeing that shift happening. And uh, like I said, we are perhaps at the forefront of it. Uh, and I think more and more, we've always been saying that streaming as an industry is meant to be borderless entertainment. It is meant to bring cultures together. It's meant to make global stars out of local stars. It's meant to take the creator's voices far and wide. Uh, and we look at it uh, very responsibly. Uh, uh, for me uh, and my team, the most exciting thing, the most goose flesh inducing thing is to be able to take our Indian storytellers to all parts of the world. So I think, uh, Monica, then we really need to know when does Netflix India make a global sensation like Squid Game or The Crown or Stranger Things or Narcos? When do, when do we become the, you know, the market that delivers that big thing? I think uh, we are on a journey. Uh, premium storytelling is very new to India. Uh, most other markets uh, have been very mature in that space. Uh, some have been doing it for decades. Some have been doing it for years. Uh, so I think the wheels have already started turning. Uh, you know, and every title is becoming big in India, becoming bigger across the globe. It is already, uh, you know, happening. And I think that uh, um, one way to look at it is to look behind and say, oh, this kind of a hit, that kind of hit. I think every hit tells us something new. Yeah. No one knew that a Korean uh, market could deliver a squid game, right? No one knew that the Spanish market could deliver a money heist, which has actually been watched in local languages, literally in villages in India also. No one knew that RRR would become such a big phenomenon. No one knew that a Delhi crime, which is the story, uh, such a moving, uh, you know, uh, uh, story of Nirbhaya, would actually one, win an international Emmy. Or that Elephant Whisperers, like Bowman and Belly and Raghu and Amu, would be on everyone's, uh, uh, sort of, in everyone's conversation in Hollywood, in all the rooms at the Oscars, right? So that is what has begun happening. And we have a lot of titles coming up. Uh, we are very excited about many, many titles. Uh, there's Archie's, there's Hira Mandi, there's, I'm, I'm very excited about a lot of titles coming. Hansel Scoop, uh, Guns and Gulabs. This is, this is Monica's favorite thing to do, to talk about her future slate. And she keeps doing it year after year with much enthusiasm. We don't have much time left, but I'm going to run two quick questions. So, honey, we need to catch up separately. I'll give you another dose. Yes, on please do. Please Sorry. do. But before I go to my rapid fire, I'm going to ask, I think this is something uh, uh, Netflix is a little bit of a latecomer into, uh, which is regional, uh, you know, diversifying into programming in other languages. Uh, you, Minal Murli continues to be one of my favorite Netflix films. You recently renewed Rana and I do. Is that where you head? next now, Monica, is going into those four robust industries in Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala. Is that where Netflix heads next in terms of original programming? You're right, Sohani. We've, we've uh, been on a journey and we have taken some time uh, to program, uh, start programming in the South languages. Uh, but when Netflix starts something, then we just double down on it. So this year, uh, in January, we announced a, a very massive slate of uh, cinema across uh, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, and uh, some of the biggest films are coming on Netflix. We've announced them. In fact, the, uh, the reactions uh, were really amazing to that when uh, all those announcements came on social. We are very proud to be working with those creators, having their stories coming, the talent, etc. And we are also working uh, very hard on our original slate in the South languages. And uh, um, let me just say, we are working very hard to please the largest set of audience in Hindi and across languages. And uh, that's what we do day and night as fans of entertainment. And we want to just, you know, keep uh, finding the next best story. 
uh, and more and more audiences are becoming language agnostic. Um, you know, international languages, local languages, it is, it is actually uh, becoming a very, very